So today we're going to show you how to make these paper helicopters and we're going to show you how they fly and twist. And now watch to the end of the channel, uh, video that is, um, so that you can see how they fly but also um, there's some extension ideas that make this into really cool science projects or STEM or STEAM, depending on what you're into. What you need to do is a piece of paper, um, like this orange one, I've already cut a strip off by coincidence and it really doesn't matter, it's not that accurate, I just use the width of my ruler and cut it across. Um, and in my case, that is um, three centimetres across, three and 21 centimeters down. Now I drew this as a template so you can see what we're, what we're cutting and what we're folding. But to be honest, you should be able to just do it with a strip of paper like this. So what you need is a strip of paper, roughly these sort of dimensions, but as we talk about the extension ideas at the end, you can um, of course use smaller, bigger, thicker, heavier, and see what happens. The first thing you need to do is, is find out, fold it into three equal parts, one, two, three. Now if you are using a guide, it's seven centimeters, seven, and seven. If not, I basically just fold it and have a rough look until you've got roughly thirds. It doesn't have to be that accurate, but it does help. So I've got it roughly in thirds, um, like you can see I'm a little bit lower there, but it's not a problem. And then once you've got them in thirds and leave this one folded, you take the top and with the scissors, you're gonna cut all the way, not all the way to the edge, leave about a centimeter that, that long, leave a centimeter free, okay? So I'm gonna cut a straight line and I've left a centimeter between the fold and the line. Now I'm going to cut two small pieces, maybe half a centimetre, into the fold. There, small one, and there, a small one, yeah? Not too big, otherwise it's all going to break. Now you use that cut where you went along the fold, and you fold your side in, like that. And then you fold this side in, like so. And there you have your basic shape already. Now fold it up. Fold it again and add your paper clip. Then you fold one end, one. Here we go, and that is your paper helicopter finished. Let's see if we can make it spin just on the camera. Let's see, it probably won't focus. Well, it's too short. Let's do it over there, and then you can see it. For, um, you can see it spinning. Now, extension ideas for this are: uh, try it with two paper clips. Try it with different types of heavy paper. Is heavier paper better or lighter paper? You can try it uh, unfolded with or without a paper clip. You can try it with longer or shorter helicopter um, blades. So there's lots of different ways of, of extending this into like a real sciencey activity. To see what could you change about your basic helicopter and then compare and see if it changes how it flies. Um, and that makes it a really great STEM activity as well. So let's go and see these fly. Now watch, it's quite quick. Now in slow motion. Wasn't that fun to see them fly? Now um, see where you can throw them from. Throw them from the top of the stairs, out of a tree, wherever you go. And remember, experiment and see what works better and what doesn't. Do more paper clips help? Does different paper help? Explore and discover. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and see you here on Red Ted Art soon. Bye.